Oh. All right, we're doing a little over, or a little close to four minutes. <laughs> we're doing close to four minutes. Oh. Ah! It's really nice. I didn't have to break through the ice today. It's just all still floating in my tub. Like this, thick piece. Oh, break my toes out. Oh. Man. The horses are up in the yard, so I apologize if you hear them neigh or run by. <laughs> but, warm up still. And today we're kind of going to be talking about replacing. Yesterday I talked on habits. And a lot of us have bad habits. And how we typically think about it is, I want to stop doing this. You know, we say, oh, I got to stop doing that. I got to stop doing that. But I think a better way to, you know, stop doing what we want to, you know, stop doing, obviously, is to replace. Instead of saying, oh, I got to stop using my phone as soon as I wake up in the morning, get an alarm clock. They're pretty cheap. You can find them on like Amazon, just online, go to your local store, get an alarm clock, put it away from your bed. Maybe if you have trouble getting out of bed in the morning, you know, because for me, I set my phone away from my bed. So I have to jump out of bed every morning to turn it off. Otherwise I have to hear it. And then once my alarm's off, I already have the habit of making my bed. So I go make my bed. And then rather than, you know, not knowing what to do next, I go and sit outside and just kind of let my mind wake up on its own because our minds are really influenced in the morning as soon as we wake up. So start the day wrong, it can be <laughs> turn into a bad day pretty fast. But instead, you know, replace things. Instead of thinking, oh, I have to stop, you know, using my phone before bed, you know, maybe if you have someone you, you know, you love, you trust, say, can you just take my phone, you know, as I go to bed and just leave it outside of like my room or something. Like for me, instead of getting on like Instagram, if I, you know, am not that tired, but I know it's time for bed, I'll start an audio book that I can listen to while I'm in bed. So it's just kind of, it's, it's more about it stops the habit that we want to stop doing, but instead we're not leaving an empty space. Because when you say, oh, I want to stop doing that, you know, if you just stop doing it, yes, that can work. That's great if you have that much self-control, but also then there's that empty chunk of time and our minds don't just like not doing nothing. And so it's, I'd say it's much easier to just replace, you know, that time with doing something else. It kind of... I'd say it makes it easier to stop doing whatever we want to stop doing. God, it's freaking cold. Usually I do three minutes or a little under three minutes when it's this cold, but oh, closer to four minutes today. And also the water temperature can be like, it, the water temperature is 33, but the ice around it is colder. So when that ice touches you, it's actually colder than 33 degrees. Also, I have some bedhead. Sorry for that. <laughs> but I'm going to try and dunk again today. Okay, so <laughs> that's just kind of a <clears throat> different way to think on stopping the things you want to stop doing and instead replace them so that there's not that just empty space and it's a lot easier to stop doing what we want to stop doing. But I hope you have enjoyed. Have a great day. Bye-bye.